Question 2. Benzoic acid is a weak acid and the Ka is given which is 6.31 times 10.85 mole per dm cube. A 1 dm cube buffer solution is made which containing 1 gram of benzoic acid and some mass of sodium benzoate. And the buffer solution has a pH of 4.15. We're going to use all these information for calculations later. Part A. Define buffer solution. This is very easy. Solutions that receives pH change when small amount of acid and alkaline is added. Okay, for example, if let's say we use uh, the, the acid and the salts that given in this question, okay, which is the, this uh, benzoic acid and its salt. So when hydroxide added, so the benzoic acid is need to react with the uh, hydroxide and uh, eventually it will form salt and water. So the hydroxide will not affect the pH of the solution. If let's say now we add acid, so the salt will react with the H plus. So eventually it will form the acid, the benzoic acid. So therefore the uh, hydrogen ion or the acids that added, it will not affect the uh, pH of the solution. Now part B, write equations to show how these solutions act as a buffer solutions when the named substance are added. Part one, dilute aqueous sodium hydroxide. First, we need to make sure the buffer species uh, they are used in this equation means the acids and the salt. So when we add hydroxide, the benzoic acids will react. And of course, if this is a neutralization, it will form the sodium benzoate and uh, water. If let's say the dilute aqueous acid added, so the salt will react and sodium nitrates will form and this H will replace the hydro, uh, the sodium ion to form the benzoic acid. So means after the reaction, the hydroxide and the, these uh, nitric acids that added, uh, it will finish react and will not affect the pH of the solution. For part C, Calculate the concentration uh, of this uh, hydrogen ion and the concentration of the benzoic acid. After that, use the Ka expression of the benzoic acid to calculate the concentration of the sodium benzoate. Before you start the calculation, make sure you know how to construct the uh, Ka expression. So use the benzoic acid Okay, which is the dissociate to form the salt and H plus. So it's the concentration of the salt times the concentration of the H plus over the concentration of the acid. So we use this one later. And first thing that we need to calculate is the concentration of hydrogen ion because pH is given, which is 4.15. So therefore we can easily get the concentration of H plus. So it's 10 power then 4.15. So you get uh, 7.08 times 10 power negative 5. Because it's say that minimum 3 SF, so we just let the answers to be 3 SF. Okay, after that, uh, we need to calculate the concentration of acid. Uh, because it's given the mole, the sorry, the mass of the the benzo uh, this benzoic acid is 1 gram. So then we can use this gram to calculate the mole. First, you need to get the molar mass of the benzoic acid, which is 1, 2, 2. So 1 gram over molar mass, we get the mole. And after that, uh, this mole is over 1 dm cube. And we get 8.20 times 10 point negative 3. So this is the concentration of the benzoic acid. Okay, now, we already get two concentration. Concentration of this uh, hydrogen ion is 1. And the concentration of the acid means we get this one and we get this one. The Ka is given, so we can get the concentration of the salts now. Rearrange this Ka expression, so which will be like this. Substitute all the values in this. So Ka, concentration of the acid and concentration of H plus. 
so you get 7.31 times 10 minus 3. Part D. A 10 cm cube sample of buffer solution is mixed with 10 cm cube of uh, 1 mole per dm cube KOH. Both solutions are at uh, 1298 Kelvin. The reactions allowed to occur without stirring. Two observations recorded, temperature slightly higher and the pH is greater than 13. Uh, so this one is uh, the, uh, we need to first, we need to calculate the moles of the acid and the KOH that used. The moles of the benzoic acid can be used MV over 1000, so we get this mole. Uh, in this 10 cm cube, it just has this uh, amount of uh, acid. Okay, so it's 8.197 times 10 point KOH is a 0 0.01 mole, which is much larger than uh, the acid. Means the acid will fully react, and at the end, KOH will be uh, the one that in the solution means in excess. So therefore, we know that the pH is more than 13 because the KOH is still a lot in there after reaction. So then you can explain accordingly. Uh, why is a uh, higher temperature? Because it's exothermic, because it's a neutralization. So it's exothermic release heat and therefore temperature is higher, right? So this is the first explanation. Reaction between the acid and KOH is a neutralization, which is exothermic release heat. And all the uh, benzoic acid has react and the KOH is in, in excess after the reaction. That's why pH is more than 13. For the part E, Magnesium benzoate, uh, this is another salt, and this salt is uh, uh, partially uh, uh, dissolved in water. Uh, and KSP expression is given, and the value is given. Calculate the solubility of this salt. Uh, before you calculate, uh, it's better for you to, uh, to write uh, the, the, get the equations. So, the salts will uh, dissociate and form the magnesium ion and this benzoic ion. So we know that if X mole of the salt is uh, dissolved, so it will form X mole of the magnesium ion and 2X mole of the salt. Then we substitute the concentration. This, let's say X is a concentration of magnesium ion and 2x is the concentration of the this uh, benzoic ion so we substitute this x and 2x into the kp expression which is given okay by the question so therefore ksp equal to x times 2x squared so it's become 4x cubed so we need to calculate x so x is 3.53 times 10 point three mole per dm cubed and this one actually can represent the solubility of the salts already okay, because this one is x okay means x moles of the salt uh, the dissolve so it will form x mole of the magnesium ion means x is actually the solubility of the salt but this one is still not the answer because answer is in gram per dm cube okay please recall back uh, the this uh, the uh, the relations between the mole mass and molar mass Okay, to calculate the mole, so we need to use mass over molar mass. So now we need to use get the gram. So we use molar mass times mole. So means we use this uh, three point five three times ten point eighty three times the molar mass. We will get gram. So you get zero point nine four gram per dm cube. Part two, and the last part, uh, an excess of the these are uh, salt added to the 0 0.5 mole per dm cube magnesium sulfate, okay, which is like this. And state whether the equilibrium concentration of this uh, uh, magnesium benzoate is higher than the same or lower than your answer in part one, means this one. Explain your answer. Uh, this one is quite uh, easy. Uh, we know that uh, it's involved common ion, means when we add this one, not just in water in the magnesium sulfate solution if it's just water this is a concentration but now the solution is has the common ion which is the magnesium ion so therefore the solubility okay, means the equilibrium 
once the salt ionized, it will form this equilibrium. Because the magnesium ion is is more, so equilibrium will shift to left, and eventually, uh, is a uh, less salt will be dissolved. Uh, this is the common ion effect, which will reduce the solubility of the salt. Uh, that's why it's not going to be uh, larger than this. It must be lower than this because the salt not able to dissolve more because of the common ion, the magnesium ion. Okay, I hope you understand and that's all. Thank you.